This is your forecast for the month of June 2017. This is a general reading for Aries Sun, Aries Rising, or Aries Moon. If you have a different rising or moon sign, you might find watching those videos helpful or more informative for you. You can watch your reading in three different ways. The full extended monthly, or for just the energy influence, watch the brief. Or if you prefer, watch the weekly for the upcoming week. Weeklies also make it easy for you to review information you may have forgotten in the full reading. Please remember that these are general readings, and so they may not apply to everyone. If you would like a reading that is specific to you, please visit my website at thealchemistastrologer.com and I invite you to follow me on Facebook, Google+, and Instagram. Please also check out my pay-per-view channel, vimeo.com slash on-demand slash finding love for monthly love readings. So Aries, this first week for you, there's a lull possibly by choice. Maybe you're taking a break from something. Maybe you're on a vacation. For some of you, you're dealing with an illness. You need to rest or recuperate from something. Maybe you're visiting the hospital or maybe you yourself are a patient. For some of you, uh, you're feeling somewhat of an outcast as if you don't fit in. Maybe you're an unwelcome guest somewhere or you're stuck. You're a prisoner of some sort. Whatever the case is, there's not a lot going on this week. There's a lull in, in activity, whether that's communication or movement. And you are probably behind the scenes, you know, trying to figure out what you're going to do next. And it's likely that some kind of situation that you face this week is going to either make you feel better about where you are, or you're going to feel as if your security is at risk somehow. And you're going to be motivated to do something, come up with some type of plan. Whatever it is, you're facing some type of ending. Something is closing out and you're having to regroup in some way. Now, some of you may not know exactly what to do. Uh, you know, you're, there's a restlessness and you need peace from a situation and maybe you're seeking to uh, create greater peace in your life or some kind of harmony. Uh, if you're feeling at peace, then this break in movement is going to be good for you. If you're feeling happy, if you're feeling comfortable, then this is a necessary break and you're good with it. You want to just lay low. And if you, if you had expectations, you're still just sitting tight. You're not thinking of the worst case scenario. You're not uh, jumping to any kind of conclusions. You're just taking things as is. Uh, this could be a, a time period where, you know, you may not have a lot of options. And so it may be necessary for you to take this time out. You're putting your frustration aside and taking some rest. But for others of you, uh, things are, have gotten out of hand. There are too many loose ends, too many things not taken care of, too many issues that have been unaddressed. And probably because you have been stagnant in some way. You, there's, there's again a lull. You're not doing what you need to do. And so you're just sitting around waiting for something to go away or hoping that it's going to take care of itself and resolve itself. Or maybe there's something that you want to save and you want to resurrect it or breathe new life into it. But in fact, it's not going anywhere. It's a dead issue. And so you're in denial on some level. You're not facing up to the facts, which is ultimately going to create more of a problem for you. Uh, now, some of you, you know, things this again, this is a, a, a welcome break. 
you need this rest. And so things are falling into place for you. Maybe you've decided to give in to a situation and end a struggle, uh, working against something. Or maybe you feel a sense of peace because you finally made some type of decision. Uh, it could have been you were involved with another person and you were waiting for them to explain to you how you arrived in this present moment. Maybe you felt slighted in some way or offended on some level and you're waiting for them to explain what their position is and why they took the course of action that they did. If you're the person on the other end though, if somehow you have offended another person, this is going to be a period where you're going to want things to just go away and not really have to confront, you know, the matters that you're facing. This card says that, uh, rest may be necessary, but not avoidance. If you're not confronting issues in a timely manner, then you're going to create some complications for yourself that are actually going to put other situations in your life in jeopardy. Now the second week you have a major card. Now some of you may be very involved with Scorpio people. Uh, this could be a week where you're wrapping some things up. You were trying to figure out perhaps last week what to do and maybe that was either to end something or to renew something, to transform it in some way. This could be a week of some major transformations. If you were avoiding issues last week, this is the week where you can actually conclude some unfinished business. Whatever it is, there's change going on, uh, some endings. Uh, this could be a change of your status, either positively or negatively. Maybe you're getting married. Uh, maybe you're getting divorced. Maybe you're starting a job or maybe you're leaving a job. Maybe you're relocating or you're you're suffering some type of loss or maybe you've been doing some thinking last week you gathered your thoughts you went inward uh, you tapped into your spiritual consciousness and this could be a week where you feel some spiritual regeneration where you have let go of some outmoded thinking and attitudes so you are facing one of two things. There's some opportunity that is presenting or there's some challenge that you're trying to overcome. And with, with regard to either, your survival instincts are kicking in and you know that you need to make some necessary changes. And this is not something that has happened suddenly. There's been a build up to this point. This is something that has been... Uh, building in increments and has finally reached critical mass for you. So either you're willingly becoming the catalyst of change in your life or it's happening to you. You may be needing change. There could be an agent of change approaching you, somebody that is creating some much needed change in your life. If you are again, it's strongly in survival mode, thinking about your security, then you're going to want to move a situation yourself. You're actually the trigger and you're motivated by your sense of security. So you may have the necessary impetus to uh, end an emotional relationship and yet do it in such a way where you know, you don't sacrifice the entirety of the relationship, just the unnecessary parts or the parts that aren't serving you. Maybe you begin a friendship or you end a friendship. Maybe you connect with someone from a long time ago. Whatever it is, you this week will become very adaptable to the necessary changes, regardless of whether there's a change in the storyline that you weren't expecting. In fact, this could be a week where you have some unexpected opportunities, some gift arrives at your door, or something that you were hoping to achieve actually exceeds your expectations expectations, something you were banking on that connects to your hopes and dreams. But for others of you, this is a week where you're stagnant. Again, referring to last week and waiting for something to change, waiting for a situation to take care of itself, when deep inside you know that that's not going to happen. And this is 
particularly uh, true if you have this tendency to dwell on the negative, to block yourself, to self-sabotage, to create excuses that keep you in inner turmoil and conflict with yourself, with others, and working against opportunities that could make life better for you. This could be a week where you go inward. You Maybe you weren't speaking to anyone last week because you've walled yourself off. You're very self-contained. In fact, you're not even willing to grow. You don't want to have a dialogue. And if one arises, you'd rather just turn about face and go the other way rather than sit down and actually talk and address your issues. But know this. This is a week that is called for some kind of transformational action on your part, whether that's to leave the past behind, to renew something, to transform something. Uh, and so if you are in denial about a situation or you're still trying to uh, resist making some necessary changes, you're going to be stuck. You're not going to move forward. And this is going to be a week where you're not going to feel good about your situation if there aren't some changes that take place because you're going to feel uncomfortable with being confined or not knowing what's next or feeling as if you're some part of you is dead, stagnant, and not moving forward. So this is a week about your personal power, the power to reinvent yourself, to regenerate a situation, whether that's material, emotional, physical, or psychological. This card gives you the power, the drive, the influence to make some changes to, and to meet success, to overcome an obstacle, and reach the top of a pursuit to find a better path if you're ready to take some action. But again, whether you're ready or not, it's likely that it's going to arrive on your doorstep. So it would be better to open the door and greet it rather than try to close it out. Now the third week, you have another major card. So the middle of this month is very important for you. This is a major card that focuses on your strength, possibly the strength to make those changes that you needed to make. Uh, this is about acting with your conviction and being calm because you know that you're on the right path. It's believing in yourself and it's coming to terms with the shadow part of yourself, which is very much what that previous death card was about. The shadow aspect of self, our darker self. Some of you, this is about healing. Last week, maybe there were issues related to surgery. And, you know, this could be a week where you focus on regaining your strength. Maybe you're dealing with healers or you're trying to heal yourself. Maybe there's a sense of being frail or weak or maybe you have contact with somebody who is an invalid or somebody who's sick or their immune system is weak. Uh, maybe there are issues of dependency in some way. This is also a week for you to call upon the better parts of self, whether that's being loyal, being a steadfast friend, uh, drawing upon your wisdom, being patient with a situation, and recognizing your own ability to overcome problems through your willpower. So this is a week for you to have faith in your abilities and believe that you were protected or offer protection to others. Again, some of you may be focusing on good health. Maybe you're recovering after an illness or you're focused on healing or empowering yourself in any number of ways. Maybe you're focused on your creativity or finding your joy, your passion for life, your zest for living, the romantic side of yourself. This could be feeling comfortable with issues of intimacy, your own sexuality, and not being overpowered by your sexual appetite or the darker side of yourself. So this card encourages you to move forward, to stay in the moment, uh, and if necessary, 
for you to take that break, to take that time out so that you can regain an understanding and reaffirm your position so that you can have a peace of mind, so that you can feel confident. So this is a week for you to face your fears, any self-doubts that you're having, uh, anything that you're not focused on uh, in order to create a better situation for yourself. Maybe you're taking your anger or your frustration out on other people, people that maybe don't even deserve it, and in the process, creating more problems for yourself. This is a week where it's very important for you to stay mindful because your attitude, your outlook, your views, uh, the emotional self is having a strong impact on your physical self. And so last week, the death card is all about letting go, surrendering, releasing. And this could be a week where it just drives that point home that there are some things that you simply cannot change. And starting over may really be easier than trying to hold on to a situation. If you know that you've put in that time, that you've been what you should have been, that you called upon the, those inner reserves of strength, your generosity, your leadership, then you can rest easy. Uh, you know you've done what you should have and you can feel good about yourself. Uh, so something may happen where you back off from a situation, you get rejuvenated, you take a time out and all of a sudden, you get this crystal clear vision about a situation. You, you gain a greater understanding of what's happening and why it's happening. And you also, as a result, end up finding some answers. Even if that wasn't your original intent, the answers begin to find you. And you find that your faith is rewarded and you have that peace of mind. But this is only if you are operating in your personal strength. If not, then this is going to be a week of fear for you, where you fear any number of things, whether that is being rejected, being alone, failing, uh, recrimination, uh, you know, feeling as if you're not good enough, that you don't measure up, that you don't have what's necessary. And that lack of confidence is going to put you in the negative. You're going to come out on the losing end and not getting what it is that really lights your passion, that makes you feel excited about life. You're going to get shortchanged and not get what your proper due is. Get exactly what it is that you deserve. Now, this is also about having the strength to be accountable because that's what leaders are. They take responsibility. The buck stops with you for your success and your happiness. And so if you're continuously pointing outward and blaming other people and only seeing what you want to see, hearing what you want to hear, then obviously you're going to be stuck in the past. This may be a week again where you have to let go of a situation and everything that went wrong in the past so that you can create a better, more productive future for yourself. This is likely to tie into the past, your memories, the past influences, you know, being stuck in the past or having difficulty letting go and moving on. This could also be a week where your magnetism is very high. If you're using this energy constructively, you have the power to persuade, to influence, again, just by being your best self and calling upon those reserves of strength. Now, the last week, you, you're, you have this great card, the Six of Wands, and so maybe you recognize your strength and you're getting recognition for it. Uh, you're emerging from something. Now, again, if this has been a physical issue, this could be another week that focuses on healing. So we have a complete set of cards that focuses on healing. So many of you are focused on recovery, gaining your strength, recuperating, whether that's you or someone important in your life. Uh, but this is a week where you can literally 
feel the, uh, the adrenaline rush of winning, some victory or goal that you're reaching. And again, maybe you're having some emotional or psychological breakthrough this week where you get it. Uh, you've been putting in some effort and now you've gotten some type of confirmation from somewhere and you feel inspired to keep going. Maybe there's some good news, some progress. And so maybe you feel vindicated in some way. And this may center around your passion for doing something that you love, expressing your joy. Or again, maybe you're feeling a greater sense of vitality. But for others of you, this is still being stuck, not knowing what to do, feeling stagnant, uh, grappling with your fear. In which case, this could be a week of more self-doubt, a lack of confidence where you're looking at yourself and you're questioning what you're doing, where you're going. Uh, maybe you made some headway and then it was short-lived or you feel a sense of defeat. And maybe again, you're blaming others. There's a sense of betrayal or treachery or that you really didn't get what you felt was your due. And it could be because you settled. And so you got the superficial benefits. If you're playing this card correctly, this could be a week where you feel some type of victory, especially if you're cooperating with others. You're using your magnetism to attract what you want without that force, aggression, domination. And you're going to come into contact with people who can help you. There could be some unexpected opportunities this week, but keep in mind, they come with the assistance of others. So whether at work or at home, there's something that's going to give you the opportunity to be your best self, whether that's using those skills from that strength card, your leadership, your friendship, your loyalty, your cooperation, perhaps inspiring others, pushing others upward, giving others the spotlight if necessary. So this could be a week where any number of wonderful things could happen for you uh, where, simply because you're helping and you're open to receiving and it makes everything easy for all parties involved. Uh, now, you have to be careful of being manipulative and taking that power and holding it over other people's heads, being arrogant and feeling a sense of entitlement. This is a week where you can be especially charming and charismatic, and you may turn that charm on and off like a faucet in order to suit your purpose and possibly manipulate other people. Uh, if, you're, if you don't want to be a team player this week, if you don't want to listen to what other people have to say, their advice, their suggestions, things that could help you, you're going to find yourself stuck. And any kind of success or gain or advancement that you're anticipating or hoping to make is either going to be delayed or it's not going to be what you hoped it would be. Now, the underlying energy is this Four of Pentacles. And for some of you, this is about stagnancy again, that holding tight, holding firm to that position. You do not want to rock that boat. Uh, and, you know, it could be based on some unwarranted fears. Some of you, maybe this has to do with finances. Maybe you're not getting what you're due because you don't have the confidence in yourself. And so you're selling yourself short and receiving some kind of inadequate payment for your services. Or maybe you're not even putting yourself out there because you fear that you're going to fail. There's a lack of fulfillment. Uh, for some of you, you're trying to hold on to protect your heart or your resources. And there's a poverty consciousness either way where there's this lack of belief in self and, you know, in, in the greater universe. So this could be a month where you're taking on uh, more problems, more burdens, more challenges, and they're self-inflicted because there's something that you want to accomplish 
and you're, you're not going about it constructively. The name of the game is to work more efficiently, not harder. And in this case, you're trying too hard, whether to avoid something and again, to wish it to go away or to accomplish something and you're being overly aggressive or domineering. Uh, so this is going to be a month where you're really looking at how you're using your personal resources, your skills, your talents, your money, your emotions, how you're giving those away or how you're holding on to them and not passing that out when you need to in order to create some opportunity for yourself. You cannot have it both ways. You cannot say, I want this and yet I will not invest in it. This is a good month for you to open yourself up, albeit cautiously, to possibilities that could create a better situation for you emotionally, financially, through new or better employment or your relationships. This is a month for you to be practical and taking that practical approach, recognizing things for what they are, making the necessary changes when called for will allow you to handle your relationships and your situations and ultimately bring you closer to those things that you really care about. Now, this is going to be a month that requires your patience. For some of you, you're working steadily and you're almost there. You're working on the foundation and whatever you're working on obviously means a lot to you. Maybe it's your passion. And this is something that's worth waiting for. For others of you, you need to control yourself because there's some impulsiveness in your pursuits. For others of you, this does come down to finances specifically because of some health related issues. And for some of you, whether you wanted to or not, whether you were expecting it, you're now taking on the burden and responsibility of other people. Maybe you're actually caring for someone else physically. Or maybe there's some things happening in your company that, or where you're working uh, through your finances that make you realize that, you know, there's, that's in jeopardy. It's not as stable as you had hoped. And for some of you, because the mental, emotional, and physical is all tied together, you may be having to come to grips with some emotional or medical issues of your own. It could be that you know, you're too self-contained again, or too self-absorbed. This is a card that can border on selfishness. So you could be excessively caught up in your own concerns, your own issues that keep you from being objective and keeping the proper perspective and lead you to blow something out of proportion. And you may come to realize that you are trying to hang on to something. You're trying to protect something, something that you feel is rightfully yours, whether that's your lot materially, your possessions, your property, or your emotions. But you're going to find for some of you that the effort that you're putting in, the work that you're investing to hold on to this thing is starting to be, is falling on in, in line with the law of diminishing return, that it's costing you way more than it's worth. Now this is likely to center on the two strongest cards in your reading, that death and strength. So either you're finding renewed strength or you're at the end of your strength. So this is a month for you to focus in the positive on regeneration in some form or another and the fortitude to move forward with the situation. And it's a month that focuses on your foundation, creating a sense of stability. And so you will be improving some kind of aspect of your daily routine, your domestic affairs, with a focus on fixing, repairing, and gaining some type of clarity so that you can operate more efficiently. There's going to be a change in your plans somehow. And it's motivated by your security, your, your peace of mind and gaining that. And there's going to be an uptick in either your material or your domestic activities. And there's an ambitious development taking place where some older matter that you've been grappling with is going to move to a, the next level or you're going to begin something new altogether. Whatever it is, things are likely to unfold or escalate for you rather quickly.
Now, for some of you, this is centering on some type of agreement or some type of contract or whether you're working in unity with others, whether you share the same sense of purpose and goals. It's likely that there's some kind of outside factor that steps into a situation and takes control because something is going nowhere. There's no resolution. There's no movement. Nothing's happening. And it could be that, again, for some of you, there's a lack of direction. There are no clear goals in mind. You don't know where you're headed. And for some of you, before you move forward, there's this deep need to understand the past and how you got to this place. So before you can move on, you feel stuck. Somehow you've got to make sense of why the goal in front of you is valid before you can move through to follow up on it. So for some of you, you are stuck. Somebody's holding tight. They're going to keep the status quo and they're not going to be rushed or hurried. Now, for some of you, this is about some kind of enthusiasm or passion for some project that you're just beginning, but yet on some level, there's some resistance to moving forward for whatever reason. And so you're going to find that things begin to slow down, centering around that because either you're emotionally resistant to it on some level or because the environment is not conducive to it moving forward. Things are going to move forward but you're going to have to expect that there's going to be some type of resistance. All right, Aries, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Let me know with your comments and don't forget to subscribe. Have a great month and I look forward to speaking with you next month.